Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a tips and advice video on how to avoid procrastination. I know I mentioned this in my 25 facts about me video, but I do suffer from extreme procrastination. I procrastinate everything, especially homework. I've been working to improve on this because it's really been affecting me in a negative way and I just don't want to be such a procrastinator anymore. So I have a list on my phone of ways that you can avoid procrastination. I've been trying to follow these tips myself so I decided that I'd share them with you because they have been working. So yeah, that's pretty much it and let's get started with the video. My first tip is to get comfortable. When you get home from school or wherever you've been that day and you're wearing an uncomfortable outfit like jeans, a nice top, just an uncomfortable outfit in general, make sure to get out of those clothes and change into comfy clothes. You're not going to be able to focus on the work that you're trying to do if you're focusing on how uncomfortable you feel or you just don't feel your best that you can. So change into sweatpants, change into a loose t-shirt, change into anything that makes you feel comfortable. My second tip is to make to-do lists. A lot of the time when people procrastinate, it's because they know they have a long list of responsibilities that they have to complete because there's so many things and you might miss things or you might be forgetting things. It's just really stressful and having all that stress is going to make you want to procrastinate completing all those things. So make a to-do list and put the worst and mandatory things at the top of the list. So if you really don't want to study for your test and you have a test tomorrow, then make sure you put that at the top of your list because that is something that you need to complete by tomorrow and you really don't want to do it. And when you're going down your list, you're not going to get more motivated. You're just going to get less motivated. So you want to make sure you get the hard stuff out of the way and leave the easy things at the bottom. My third tip is to get a planner and that's mainly for people like me who procrastinate homework a lot. So go out and just buy, it could be a notebook, it could be a planner that you buy from Target, it doesn't have to be special. Start each class off by writing down your work that you have to do that night and that way when you get home you'll have right in front of you what you need to do and you won't procrastinate it because you'll see what you have to do and you won't have to worry about oh do I need to do this, do I need to do this because it'll all be right in front of you. That's a little organizational tip and I find that being organized helps you procrastinate less. My fourth tip is to reward yourself over time. So if you've been working for an hour, give yourself 10 minutes of time to just go talk to a family member, hang out with a pet, just kind of lay down, relax. I know I can't sit there for hours upon hours upon hours just working because that's just too much stress for me. That way when you're done with your break, you'll be able to sit down and have a fresh start and you'll be ready to continue what you were doing before. My fifth tip is to avoid distractions until you're finished. I know I said to reward yourself after long periods of time, but I do not recommend rewarding yourself by going on your phone, watching TV, going on your laptop, or going on any electronics in general. If you're on your device for that short period of time, you're not gonna know when to get off. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna scroll through Snapchat, I'm gonna scroll through Twitter, I'm gonna scroll through Instagram, and then I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos. And by the time you're finished on your phone, you've wasted like two hours. So just don't touch any electronics or something that distracts you a lot. That way when you're finished, it will have taken a lot less time to finish your assignments, and then after you're done, you can go on your electronics and not have to worry about getting off them in a certain amount of time. My sixth tip, that's really hard to say, is to get out of the house. I find that my room and my house is full of distractions that will keep me from what I'm supposed to be doing. Go to like a cafe, a coffee shop, or anywhere that has a nice, relaxed, and motivating environment. For example, if you want to go to Starbucks, you can go there and you can get a drink and you can just sit down for a few hours and get all your work done. I know that a lot of people go to Starbucks to work, so seeing all those people working around you will really motivate you to do what you need to do. Unless you go on your phone, there's nothing else really to do than to complete your work. Like I said, avoid going on your phone until you're finished. My seventh tip is to hang out with friends. This can either be a really good thing or a really bad thing. Starting with a good thing, you'll have a friend there to motivate you while you're doing your work and keep you on track so that you're not doing other things. If you guys are both studying or working on the same thing, you can help each other out if you have any like struggles. Because I know if you're struggling on something, you're not going to want to do it and you're going to push it to the side and just avoid doing it. But on the other hand, having friends can be a distraction if you guys talk. But really, I really recommend that you guys just sit down, you do your work, and then afterwards you can go hang out or do whatever you want and it's making the best out of your situation if you have a good friend with you. My eighth and final tip is to have a routine. A lot of times when people procrastinate it's because they don't know when they should start their work. So if you set a routine that you follow every single day, for example if you're coming home from school, first you can eat your snack, then you can 
go to your homework, then you'll have dinner, then you shower, and then you can relax and then go to sleep. That's just an example of a routine. That's what I'm trying to work on doing. But if you follow that routine, you'll know that right when you get home and you're done eating your snack, you start your homework. And you won't want to start any later because then you'll be off your routine and you'll be really upset with yourself. So it really just motivates you to not procrastinate and do your work when you know you're supposed to. Routines make me feel really organized and really just happy with myself. And then in the end, I get to use my relaxing time to go on my phone, go on my laptop, and then I can go to bed and feel nice and ready for the next day. So yeah, those are all my tips on how to avoid procrastination. It's really just such a good feeling when you get your work done and nothing beats it. I know it's the most relieving thing when I do. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.